Huh? Oh no. I've made a mistake. Okay, we have to get over to the ladder now. We actually have to go down? <laughs> uh, I didn't realize this thing was gonna be up here. Hello, and welcome back to Elden Ring Recap Part 4. Our fourth week and yet another change to the video format. This was the first week we didn't do three streams of Elden Ring. We actually incorporated a Mario 64 speedrun stream into our week. So we're shortening this video again by only doing two bosses. But to make up for it, I'm going to show you a couple more of the cool fights that we had, like against the enemy that you saw at the beginning of the video. But before we actually get into the video, guys, if you're enjoying the content or if you're just feeling generous, feel free to hit that sub button. And that's it for this part of the video. Let's go ahead and get into some of the fights. So if you've been watching my videos, you will immediately recognize this enemy that we're about to fight. This was a mini boss that had taken us probably four or five hours to beat in the past. And while I could show you all of the deaths that we went through in this fight, it actually was only about like four or five deaths. So I'm just going to cut right to the chase. I'm going to show you the main fight. That way you guys don't have to watch me die repeatedly. And then we'll move on after that. Nice, nice, nice. Huge. Dang. Oh, we're so close. Nice. Let's go! And from that fight, we explored a bit more. I'm gonna cut that out again. If you wanna see me explore more, make sure to head to the live streams. The VODs are on my channel under the live section. And in my exploring, I made it to the capital of this map again. But this time I kind of progressed a little bit further. I managed to find a mini boss that at first I kind of panicked because the way his name sounded, it sounded like this guy was gonna be the final boss of the game. 
<gasps> no! What is this? Godfrey! What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't want to... I didn't want to do that! Oh, and as I soon found out, I may have hyped this boss up a little bit. Wait. Wait. That wasn't the actual Godfrey, right? To this day, I still don't know if it was or was not. I'm obviously still not finished for the game yet, but that one seemed a little too easy. And because of that reason, I decided we should keep going with the stream. If we're gonna end our stream on boss fights, I, at least for most of the time, I wanna make sure that they're good bosses to fight. That was actually two tries. And lucky for us, we wouldn't have to wait that long to find the main boss of this area. He was actually someone that we ran into not too long ago. Oh wait. Melina? We can, we can get her in here? Let's do it. Let's bring her in. What is thy business with these thrones? Is that not Margit? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. Take note of her Gen moveset. Bradan. Okay. Praetor Rikar. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors. All. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Oh, so he's got a actual a sword up in there. Eager grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Morgoth? Last of all kings. Well, his name was Margot. He's got his hammer already. Is she making a tree? Oh, 
Oh shit! My fucking mimic. My poor mimic. to my mimic. That's right, we did it! We did it! Let's go! As we're getting further into this run, I'm realizing I'm just getting more and more payback against characters that I had seen in the past, and I am so on board for it. Margit, Morgoth, whatever his name is, gave us so much trouble in the beginning of this game, and beating his better form in one go felt so great. But with that, that was the final boss of the stream. Now we're gonna have to move over to day number two, or technically day number three. All right, starting off day number two, the same way we started day number one, I'm gonna show you guys some cool fights, and then at the end, we'll get to the main boss fight. Here's fight number one. All right, where are my runes? Let's grab these 20,000 runes before they go away. I also love that Mass Effect story, like, um, it connects each game. That's, like, something that no game has really done since. For the stuff you, that you do in Mass Effect 1 matters for the last game. That, to me, even to this day, is just so cool. No other game has done it like that. The truth, hey, up for a big run. Ah, uh, you know. This might be a big run, depending on depending on time. <laughs> uh, Plague Tale Requiem story is amazing. Yeah, I've seen good things about it, which makes me want to try. I just haven't gotten around. It's the same with like so many other games, we just haven't gotten around to it yet. But, like everyone that tells me I should play it, I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, have you ever heard of the presses of the Halo games, the Marathon Trilogy? No, I haven't. I do love the Halo games too though.
to series that I will never, never outgrow, I think. Unless you're the Halo TV show, in which case I will outgrow it. That was just... That was sad, the way that turned out. I think I'm either a Voltage or a Code Red guy, though. I won't lie. That may be kind of heresy. Huge! Big money! Notice how much easier this is when I'm only fighting one. That one hurt a little bit. No, stop going after him. Oh, my mimic dies here. That was scary. And now we're on to the big boss of the stream. This was one of those bosses that was getting hyped up to me as a really hard boss to fight. So going in, I was very worried about this, but I learned pretty quickly that uh, I really didn't need to be that afraid of this guy. Wait. We're at a boss fight. <laughs> Good luck, fire giant time. Wow. Alexander just got hammered into the ground. I just almost got two shot. be one of those times where a ranged battle would be good.
Did I not target lock onto his other leg? Oh, damn! his stomach oh give me a break dude this is running simulator right now oh my god my mimic tier just got messed up Get him, Alexander. You can do it. Uh oh. Dude, this guy's a coward. He's a coward. Oh my gosh. Get on Torrent right now. Or if I could lock onto his other leg. That'd be great. Oh! Okay, we're halfway. By the way, Torrent's available for this fight? It wouldn't let me. He fights with the Spanish Peloban. This is the big boss for the stream, isn't it? This, this counts? Alright. Hey! Take a bite. Sorry, that's that's an intrusive thought right there. What is going on, dude? He has an eye in his chest. Sauron? Something in his hands. Get him, Mimic. Oh, he just people's elbowed me. 
could have stabbed him in the eye there too. Can't get to his eye from here. Okay. We'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Remembrance of the fire giant. And in terms of boss fights, that was it for the stream. I did a lot more exploring and going about the story in this stream. So again, one more time before the video ends, if you're interested in the story aspects of this game or you're just interested in watching more about it, go check out my live section. The VODs are there. You'll be able to see me do a whole lot more with this game. But that brings an end to this video. Who'd have thought we'd get two videos in a row under an hour? If you guys are still here and you enjoyed, make sure to hit that sub button. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Again, I live stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll be live then, right on this channel. And other than that, I have nothing else. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.